Hello everyone, here is a tutorial for Sports 2D, an open source software that I developed to meet the needs of a coach, Rob Oliver. Some of you may need to automatically obtain joint and segment angles or joint positions over time, for example in order to evaluate LCA injury risks based on deceleration drills or anything else. The version I'm going to present is the Colab one, which is as user-friendly as possible and can potentially run on a smartphone. So go ahead and click this icon or this one. And let's have a look on the overall structure of the code. So you're first going to install Sports 2D and then we, you will upload one or several videos. And you need to specify which one of the uploaded videos you want to analyze. I'll talk about optional settings in a little while don't need to run that cell if you don't change anything there. And last but not least, you run the analysis. Once it is done, you may want to see results uh, in, video, in the video or to plot the angles or positions of interest. Okay. Oh, by the way, quick tip. If you end up you know, scrolling indefinitely here, just move your mouse a little bit to the right to get out of that in our box and you'll scroll, that, that will get better. Then you can um, access to all your results on your Google Drive or to download them as a zip file. So installation, video upload, proper run of the code, and then check results. Each of these steps are run by clicking the little uh, arrow on the upper left of a uh, uh, corner of the cell. So let's get started with installation. There are several ways to do it. Either you just want to try out the code and uh, don't want to, it to take up any storage space on your Google Drive. You choose install every time. Or you want to install it once for all. If you choose this option, you will have to run the installation every time, which takes a little over 20 minutes. And if you choose the second option, which I recommend, this will be much faster to run, but it will take a little over one gigabyte on your Google Drive. Second choice, you can choose to install OpenPose, which allows for multi-person analysis and is more accurate, or not, which would work and take less storage space, but won't uh, unveil the full potential of the software. Okay, so we're going to do the default one. Here is a, okay, sorry, that's in French, but you're gonna have it in your language. Uh, this notebook, notebook has not been created by Google, execute anyway. Let's just wait for a little bit. It's going to ask you if you want to connect to your Google Drive to ask for a permission. It can be a little, I mean, it should be. Okay, connect to Google Drive, select your account, allow everything, and it's going to install it. Okay, so in the meantime, uh, let's get over some of the additional information. Okay, so you, you're going to find more information about how it works under the hood here, which is the Google page, uh, the GitHub page. And while you're there, uh, don't hesitate to hit the start button. It's always appreciated. And you can, if you use it and you, and you, uh, you know, publish something, a scientific journal, don't hesitate to cite this. Okay. So warning, results are only as good as the post-estimation algorithm, which means that they are not perfect. Uh, the joint center may not be perfectly um, <coughs> um, uh, estimated by the post-estimation algorithm, and uh, it will especially be bad if your video is blurry or of bad quality. A good rule of thumb is that if you post the video and you have a hard time uh, you know, putting, you know, being able to label yourself the joint, the algorithm won't be, do it better than you. Also, this is called Sports 2D, which means that it goes in two dimensions. So the results are only acceptable if the person moves in the 2D plane from right to left or from left to right. If you need research grade 3D markerless kinematics, consider using several cameras with post to seam step. That's another package that I developed. Um, so it uses several cameras, which pose other 
uh, other challenges such as camera calibrations and camera synchronization, which is not trivial. Uh, however, results are you know much better, and the accuracy and robustness has be, has been peer reviewed. So hit me up if you want to uh, know more about it. Okay. Another uh, potential issue is that your data will be sent to the Google servers if you use this version. And if you don't want this, you can just, uh, you know, install it locally on your computer and everything is explained in the installation tutorial. And then you need to run it just by running those three lines. Okay, so now it's been installed. It will take, I mean, it was already installed, so I just had to set up the environment. It will take longer if it's the first time. But then you won't have to do it. Uh, anymore, even if you choose to run it on a smartphone, on a tablet, on a dif different computer, since it is installed on your Google Drive. Okay, now it's time to upload your videos. Hit the play button, don't forget that button, select files. <coughs> We're going to choose video 1 and video 2.mp4. Okay, it's uploading. Little by little. Video 2 is uploaded and video 1 is uploading. All right, this is done. These videos have been uploaded and are ready to be processed. So for now, we're going to choose video 2.mp4. Okay, so. Oh, by the way, have a look on the left pane, files. And now you can see that a new folder, Sports 2D, has been created with open pose, Python code, and the videos you, you just uploaded, video 1 and video 2. So this is done. Settings will be detailed a little later, and you can run the analysis. Let's go. Okay, so it's detecting the pose for the video 2 with open pose model body 25B. Then sorting people across frames, uh, which means that if you have several people, you don't want to have uh, the person mixed up from one frame to another, or it will, you know, angles won't make sense and time series even less. Two persons were found on that video, person zero interpolating the missing sequences, uh, filtering the results, and we save the positions. Same for person one, we save images and video. And then we choose to compute angles, so this list of angles that can be changed, and uh, joint angles, and here, segment angles. All right, so it's doing it all, and it's finished. Okay, so we want to show video. Let's say we want to show the last video, because that's the last video we just analyzed. If we don't, we just click no, and then change the video name. If you want to find the right video, uh, you just, okay, let's make it a little bigger. You just click, you know, uh, right click here, copy the path, and then you have the video you want to analyze. So in that case, whether I choose yes or I choose no and uh, enter that name, it's going to give the same results. Okay? So, all right, so the video, the codec of the video is not supported, so we have to convert it. That's happening right now. By the way, the video I chose to analyze comes from Mastery Blueprint. I'll give the link in the description. And it's done, okay? So you can see that you know the joints are correctly detected. And so here it's blue on dark, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that angles are um, correctly found. And now, do we want to display the knee angle results of the first person detected in the last uploaded video? Not necessarily, you may want something a little more specific. So first, which person is interesting? Person zero or one? Of course, person one. Um, so what results do we want? So let's have a look at the results. Person one, do we want angles or points? Let's say we want angles. So copy, paste, control B. And then we may want some, we may not know what are the names, the available variable names. So we are going to just delete everything, play, and we have the table here, okay, with the variable names. Okay, so we're, we're 
actually here some variables have been cut off so we can click this to have um, all of the names it's you know the the format is not as good but at least you have everything so let's say we want uh, left knee right knee and uh, right thigh for example okay so open the bracket left knee oh sorry I forgot this this is very important you'll hit an error if you don't open and close the the parenthesis right knee ah I forgot it again and right uh, thigh okay oh by the way also don't forget that you know it's case sensitive so if you put a capital here it's not gonna work okay play and here you go you have your variable names plotted against time all right now if you want to view the results in Google Drive you play this and you click this and this opens your sports 2d results uh, folder in Google Drive and you can just open any kind of file for example the video or your CSV files um, okay you have it all displayed and available in your Google Drive you can also down download each results by playing this as a zip file I do not recommend this because it takes a lot of time or you can also just right click and uh, download any file you are interested directly in that interface in that uh, in the Google Colab thing okay you can also choose to display something different like let's say you want points okay copy path again you don't know which variables you are available you want to display the table okay so do you want the like left heel and right big toe okay uh, L heel oops uh, heel and R big toe again don't forget the capitals and you play it and you have them also in two dim dimensions uh, okay so let's get a little okay this is this table is annoying me so I don't want to display it so that it can go a little more easily to the right okay so you have uh, x y you also have the likelihood of the detection for each point you've displayed all right so it's worked this is it now it's time to have a look at the uh, settings the optional settings so you have pose settings you can choose to use open pose as I said it supports multi-person analysis and it's more accurate most of the time sometimes you don't if you don't have anything convincing you can choose a blaze pose it's only gonna go, going to detect one person but it's worth uh, trying it uh, if you choose blaze pose I would recommend to use the most accurate uh, model of course and if you choose open pose this is the model I recommend but you can choose another one that's a little less accurate but then angle settings you can choose to uh, display you know uh, any angle you want joint angles or segment angles it may be you know it may be too many for you and you want to deselect some of them okay advanced pose settings um, all right so if if it's checked it means that um, uh, it won't run open pose again if uh, it has been run once so that means that uh, it will just do you know apply the changes to uh, to filtering and interpolating but it won't uh, redo the whole analysis uh, estimation again if you, if you deselect it it will overwrite it every time you can choose to save the images uh, individual images that are here or not to save the videos or not um, you can choose to interpolate the gaps only if they are smaller than uh, five you know to any number of frames that can be interesting if you think that you know if above 10 frames and interpolating doesn't make sense and you can choose to filter or not what kind of filter usually it's better worth you can choose the order and the cutoff frequency if you choose Gaussian 
or lowest or median, you can also modify the, um, the, the parameters. And advanced angle settings, that's basically the same. You can choose to, to display the text of angles on the image or not. That can be annoying, you know. So, uh, I can understand that this is not something you want on your output video. If you don't want it, you just deselect these. And you can choose to filter or not exactly in the same way as you did with pose uh, parameters. And this is pretty much it.